uh, while at the, at the fire department, uh, I started in 1961, and uh, in 19, I was, while I was uh, at the fire department, she was active in all these community affairs, okay? We spun a lot of community activities. We had a Charlie Cafe day. Uh, Mr. Cafe was uh, the uh, a legend in professional uh, baseball. He was a head man in the old Negro League himself, originally out of Alabama, but he played most of his uh, baseball for, for a town in uh, South Carolina called the Gamecocks, the GCs. And when he came to Ohio, I think he was from Luverne, uh, Alabama, uh, uh, Crenshaw County, where my mother my children is from. And uh, he came to uh, Cleveland and he organized a semi-professional baseball team called the GCs. The acronym for that G's for Gamecocks. And that's the that's the, uh, uh, the the mascot of the uh, college football team down there in South Carolina. But anyway, uh, they had played against major league baseball players like uh, Bob Feller and uh, and uh, all the famous Hal Newhouse for Detroit, all the major Jody Maggio. But black guys played against them because they weren't able, uh, allowed to play in the, in, in the major league. So they had their own league. And the black ball players, they drew more crowds than the white teams did. They should have because they were more colorful. And they played in, in like South America, uh, down in Mexico and in the islands. They played against those teams. So they was playing against more talented people, so they became better ball players. And ultimately that didn't change all during the thirties and twenties and thirties and early forties. That didn't change until nineteen forty seven when Jackie Robinson was was hired as the first uh, black American in, in the uh, in, in the National League, and about two months later, one of my heroes, Larry Dober, was hired as the first black American in the American League. That opened the doors up for other black Americans uh, who was in the uh, major leagues. And during the time, they had started had black uh, football players. Uh, there was a few. Most of them came out of Cleveland, eventually came out of Cleveland and with the, with the uh, Cleveland Browns. And uh, Paul Brown, who was from Mathlin, Ohio, uh, he was instrumental in hiring a lot of uh, black guys in football. And then in basketball, uh, they did the same thing. Very few blacks were into professional sports. The main sport the blacks were involved in was, was boxing. And we kind of controlled that. And matter of fact, at one time, there were eight champions in professional boxing. Six of them was African Americans. The other one was was a Japanese, and the other one was a Mexican. So people of color, so-called minorities, minority control boxing. So ultimately, uh, when the advent of television, they started discriminating against blacks and so forth. But blacks was the one. But then by that time, other sports that started opening up to blacks. A lot of athletes that would have just had been precluded. Segregated, just boxing, but they became football and baseball and basketball stars because they was given opportunity. And I was always active in all the sports, but boxing was my main thing because I saw that was a just it was, it was my line. And so it, you know, from, just from a child, I was just it was kind of ordained that I would be involved in boxing. So I trained fighters for about seventeen. Well, actually, uh, I was a head trainer for fifteen years, but I was assistant to Coach Johnson for two years. So for 17 years, I trained fighters.